In today's rapidly changing world, resilience and adaptability are crucial for business success. Secure Access Service Edge is a cloud-based enterprise security framework designed to address the network and security challenges caused by digital business transformation. The move to cloud coupled with increasingly mobile workforces places users, devices, applications and data outside of the enterprise data center and network, creating an access pattern inversion. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. SASE delivers converged network and net security services from a single, globally distributed and cloud-native platform. Scale, acceleration and edge compute capabilities to delight customers are integrated with Zero Trust Network Access that is ZTNA, Web Application and API Protection as a Service and Cloud Secure Web Gateway that is SWG Services to protect your users. Organizations can secure and enable corporate resources while securing and delivering their sites, applications, and APIs. 65% of enterprises will have consolidated individual SASE components by the year 2025. IT leaders are struggling to connect and protect their enterprises by using several products and using such a bolt-on approach weakens security posture due to inconsistent security and network policies. Today's users, devices and resources are located outside the corporate network beyond the reach of an on-premises security stack. The SASE model enables new digital business scenarios by delivering security controls at the edge where they are needed. A SASE framework provides low latency connectivity and security for users, devices and services because it is edge native. A worldwide fabric of points of presence delivers networking and security controls without sacrificing performance. This is expected to improve organizations' overall security posture and makes it harder for malicious actors to exploit vulnerabilities and launch successful attacks. Let us now look into today's headlines in VAR India. Apple's market cap reaches $2.307 trillion. Apple's market capitalization has reached $2.307 trillion, making the US-based companies worth more than that of Amazon, Alphabet and Meta combined, which stood at $2.306 trillion. A report stated that Apple stocks have seen a rise of 0.16% in the last couple of sessions. Meanwhile, the other tech giants Alphabet, Meta and Amazon saw a drop in their stock value. While Meta has fallen 7.6%, Amazon dropped by 17% and Alphabet saw a 5.7% fall in its stock. IT Department Probes Jyoti Labs Offices and Plant The Income Tax Department has conducted a survey at Jyoti Labs Offices and Manufacturing Plant in the normal course of business. The company added that it extended its full cooperation and support to the officials and have provided them timely and correct information as asked. It also added that the company's business operations have not been impacted due to the survey. Siddharth Jhawar quits as Zomato's global VP. Siddharth Jhawar, the vice president of Zomato, who was in charge of its recent foray into intercity food delivery service, has left the company. Prior to leading Zomato's intercity legend service, he also headed its Wings program that sought to connect restaurants with investors. Chawar will be replaced by Kamayani Sadwani, a director at Zomato-owned quick commerce company Blinkit, as the head of the Intercity Food Delivery Service. YouTube introduces Go Live Together for creators. YouTube has announced a new feature called Go Live Together that will allow eligible creators to invite a guest to live stream with them. Creators will only be able to co-stream via a phone as the feature won't be available on YouTube's desktop version. However, creators can use their computer to schedule a live stream with a guest and then go live from their phone. Creators can also switch up the guests they have on their live stream, but they can only have one person there at once. Apple may change Hey Siri voice assistant phrase to Siri. American tech giant Apple is looking to change Siri's trigger phrase from Hey Siri to just Siri. Users would just need to say Siri followed by a command to activate the smart assistant. Apple would need to invest a significant amount of AI training and underlying engineering work since the smart assistant will need to grasp the single wake word in the numerous accents and dialects. Apple's been working on this feature for the past several months and is expected to roll it out next year or in 2024. 
That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Var India News Magazine. You can download the Var India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.